Job Nimbus CRM Tutorial for Beginners. Hello, hope you're doing good. I'm your host, Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Job Nimbus, a powerful CRM and project management tool designed for contractors and field service businesses. If you run a roofing, remodeling, or service-based company, this tutorial will make it easy for you to manage leads, jobs, and invoices all in one place. And to get started on Job Nimbus is actually completely free as they offer a 14 day free trial period and you don't need a credit card to sign up. So you're going to go on to jobnimbus.com then you're going to tap on get started now. From there you can enter in your company information. Once you're finished doing that you'll be redirected to a page just like this. Once on this page, you can see this dashboard right here. This is where you'll be able to move the job through the different phases. But before doing that, there are a few things that I would like you to set up. The first thing I want you to do is you can go over to the top right hand corner and tap on your profile pick or your initials. Then you could tap on team right below company. After you have done that, from there, you can tap on invite team member. And you can add in different team members. So this is where you'll be able to add different team members as you can see right here. After you have added the different team members, what I want you to do next, we're going to go back. Then once here, we're going to tap on contacts in the top right hand corner. And this is where you're going to be adding contacts. Or you can choose to import contacts if you have some created already. You could tap on import contacts in the top right hand corner and you could upload a CSV file of your contacts or you can manually create contacts by tapping on add contact and you could fill in the contact information right there. Now after adding the contacts, what I want you to do next is create your first job. To create a job is quite straightforward on Job Nimbus. You're going to tap on jobs from the top left hand corner of the navigation bar. Then you can tap on add job. And by the way, we could tap on this sample job right here and you could see how it looks. So you can see the ass it's assigned to and you can also see the sales rep and you can see the business information right there, the, the customer information better yet. So to add a job, you'll tap on add job. So we could fill in the job name. Let's say for example, roof replacement. So you could type in roof replacement right here. After you have added that, you can scroll down and you could fill in the sales rep name. You could also select the lead source and then you can assign it to someone from your team. There you can also tap on see additional fields and you could fill in the additional fields if you want. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to tap on save job. After you have tapped on save job, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll be able to add notes. You'll be able to add different tasks that needs to be completed for this particular job. So for instance, you can scroll down. After you have scrolled down from there, you could tap on job tasks. Then you can tap on add tasks and you could choose the task type, whether it be to make a phone call, lead follow up, adjuster meetings, initial appointment or so on. You can select whichever one of these tasks and you can choose who you'd like to appoint, appoint it to or assign it to better yet. You can also tap on documents and from here you can upload different documents that are related to this job. You can also upload different photos that are related and you can tap on financials and from here you'll be able to create an estimate for the job by tapping on create estimate. You can also add in the budget and you can also create material order as you can see right here. So this is where you'll be able to create all of the information related to this particular job or customer. You can also add in invoice and so on from this section. So it's quite straightforward and easy to use as you can see right there. So you'll be able to create all of that right here. So let's say for example, we wanted to create an estimate. You could tap on create estimate. After you have tapped on create estimate, you can choose to either use the default layout or you could create a layout. I'll just select use default layout. After you have tapped on use default layout, from here you can go over to the left hand menu option 
and you can start setting it up so you can put in the estimate name you can put in the date and you can also see right here you can upload different images as you can see and you can add a add from job or contact so you could tap right there and you could add image from job or contact and you can add in all of the information then once you're finished doing that you can also select introduction and you could edit the introduction you can tap on inspection from the left hand menu option and you can also edit that information once you're finished filling out the different informations from the left hand column you can select review and share and from there you'll be able to share the estimate with the customer you can also tap on home if we were to select home in the top left hand corner from here you'll be able to see all of the different tasks by scrolling down and you can also see all of the different jobs so this is where you'll get a quick overview of all of the different actions that need to be done you can tap on calendar and here is where you'll be able to see your schedule and you can also schedule different tasks from this section for different team members you can also select insights and you'll be able to monitor different analytics and that's basically it when it comes on to job nimbus hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe